Thank you, Nate. Now an 8 News special report. Black Market Baby, a Richmond woman sold at birth by an illegal adoption ring, meets her family for the first time. 8 News investigative reporter A.J. Legault and photojournalist Ben Arnold have her incredible story. Baby selling, a form of human trafficking, was and is big business. And for one Richmond woman sold on the black market at birth, the search for answers as to who she is and where she comes from has been the journey of a lifetime. <laughs> this is no ordinary mother and daughter embrace. Oh my God, last time I saw you, you were like, probably about this big. <laughs> you were four days old. You're watching a reunion 34 years in the making. 34 years I waited for this. So it's very emotional. The last time I had seen Sarah, she was a baby in my arms. To understand what makes this moment so special, <laughs> there's something about Sarah Hudson you have to understand. I am a black market baby. I was sold for all intents and purposes. Turn back the clock to 1977. 18-year-old Kathleen Akison is pregnant. I kept it a secret. Only two girlfriends and my boyfriend, who's now my husband, knew what I was going through. Knowing she can't take care of a baby. I found an ad in the paper. It reads, pregnant, undecided, confused, and worried. We care. Thinking about adoption? Call Collect. When I called the ad in the paper, uh, a woman posed as a nun. She said her name was Sister Marie. Then through the nuns, they said, well, we have a lawyer that can help you out. And that's when Finchel got involved. Seymour Fenichel, also a rabbi, was supposed to help facilitate an adoption, but it turns out he was a black market baby broker. Court documents show that using the ads in newspapers and supermarket tabloids, he, along with cohorts Harriet and Lawrence Lauer, lured and coerced hundreds of pregnant women into his illegal adoption ring selling their babies to the highest bidder. Here's how it played out for teenage Kathleen. Fenichel puts her up in a New York City apartment, promising to find her baby a good family. She gives birth in this Long Island hospital. I actually got to hold her for three days. A woman claiming to be the adoptive mom's sister visits her hospital room. She was just right with me and hugging me and telling me how much, how brave I was and whatever else, and that her sister was going to be so happy. They walk out of the hospital together, and then things take a dark twist. And then all of a sudden, she just grabbed the baby from my arms and jumped in a car with a man sitting in the car, and they locked the doors, leaving my, leaving my boyfriend and I in the parking lot, and they drove away. Last time you saw her? That was the last time I saw her. That woman who snatched Sarah was not her adoptive aunt. It was, in fact, Fenichel's partner in crime, Harriet Lauer. That one? Yeah. That's her. Yeah, that was. I can just tell. Kathleen doesn't learn this part of how she was tricked until we show her a picture of Lauer. That's the one that posted as her sister. And I'm thinking she's a friend, and it now it just kind of makes sense. It was really just get the baby and run, because that's exactly what she did. Fast forward 30 some years. Sarah Hudson, a paramedic in Richmond, develops a nearly fatal blood clot. I came within hours of dying. And I was in the hospital, I was in the ICU. People kept asking me, what's your family history? What's your family medical history? That's a reasonable question for people to be asked. And I could only respond with, I don't know. Sarah knew she'd been adopted and it was now time for answers. So. When she turned to her adoptive parents for help in tracking down her birth parents, they told her the name of the adoption agency they used, Child Haven of Northeastern Pennsylvania, and a lawyer named Seymour Fenichel. Sarah Googled him. All of a the sudden, these articles pull up on the screen that say, where have all the babies gone? Black market babies. Sarah had made a disturbing discovery about her life. It broke my heart when I found it out. Fenichel and company were indicted in 1988 for running a large scale illegal and fraudulent baby selling business. But Fenichel would never serve prison time for his crimes. In 1990, he copped a plea deal for five years probation and 2000 hours of community service. He was disbarred and died four years later at age 70. In New York, the birth records of adoptive children are permanently sealed by the court and dead men tell no tales. When I found out how I was adopted last year, that dashed all of my hopes. Hopes of ever finding her birth mom. But Sarah's VCU police officer husband, Tom, 
would not be deterred. It took a lot of time. Sarah's adoptive parents told her they picked her up from Seymour Fenichel in a parking lot. My adoptive parents don't remember exactly where, they just know that it was out on Long Island. They had one other clue. My adoptive mother made it a point to memorize the last name of my biological mother. With little to go on, Sarah Hudson's quest for answers brought her here to the New York Public Library in Manhattan. They started searching phone books. They have telephone books dating back to the dark ages. Archived on microfilm. The really big lead that we got was finding a gentleman with the same last name. We uh, found out that he had a daughter um, named Kathleen. This eventually led them to Facebook. So I pull my computer over and I type the name in and I pull up this picture and I wouldn't say that it was instantaneous, but it was pretty quick that I started to notice the similarities in our faces. A nervous Sarah makes the biggest phone call of her life. And I said, my name is Sarah. I know you don't know me. And she said, if you were born June 18th, 1977, I know exactly who you are. And she said, uh, I am your biological mother, and you need to know that I married your biological father, and you have four full-blooded sisters. And that's when I started crying. <laughs> That takes us to a car in Long Island on a recent Sunday afternoon. I'm just kind of a ball of nerves, I guess. As Sarah drives to meet her mother and four sisters. I've waited 34 years for this. We've also been dreaming of this day. Hi. I know right away. <laughs> Last time I saw you, I, I whispered in your ear, when you're ready to find us, come find us. All right, girls, here we go. Give me some happiness. Then. I guess you heard my words. In New York, AJ Legault, 8 News. Thank you, AJ. If you have a story idea for AJ, contact him at ajinvestigates at wric.com or find him on Facebook.